Salutations to you viewers. This is a Farmer Media Productions, and this is your host, Mr. Chikoko, also known as Chico Squared. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about a concept which is found in uh, all level chemistry uh, under a subtopic called the stoichiometry. And precisely, we're going to be looking at a concept known as empirical formula. So I'm just going to quickly define what empirical formula is. Empirical formula, basically, we're talking about the simplest ratio of what? Of atoms. Simplest ratio of atoms in a compound. All right. So I'm going to go step by step in explaining the procedure of how to calculate the empirical formula of a substance. We've got a question on the board. Six grams of magnesium is heated in oxygen. After cooling and reweighing, it is found that there is 10 grams of magnesium oxide. Find the empirical formula. Remember, we are given six grams of magnesium. And the product which is coming out is 10 grams of MgO. Meaning to say if there are six grams of magnesium, it means there are four grams of what? Of oxygen. Right. So step number one, in calculating empirical formula, you divide the masses or the percentages by the relative atomic mass of each and every individual element. If you go in the periodic table, magnesium has got a mass number of 24, and oxygen has got a mass number of 16. So what you're going to do, first and foremost, you are going to divide 6 grams of magnesium by the relative atomic mass of magnesium, which is 24. And you are going to divide 4 grams of oxygen by the relative atomic mass, which is 16. So 6 grams divided by 24, you are going to get 0 0.25. And then 4 divided by 16, you are also going to get 0 0.25. So after you've got these values, the next thing that you're going to do now is that from these values that you're going to get after dividing each and every element by its relative atomic mass, you are going to take the smallest among these numbers and then you divide all the numbers by the smallest number. In this case, we have um, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. So we're just going to divide by 0 0.25 on both sides. 0 0.25, 0 0.25, and then you are going to get 1 here, you are going to one, get 1 again there, so we are going to say it's MgO, that's the empirical formula because the ratio is 1 is to 1 magnesium to oxygen, so it's going to be MgO. Let me look at the next question. So the next question that we have is as follows. We are given that we have the following percentage compositions of these substances, right? Uh, let me just wrap this off very quickly. And then we look at the next question that is slightly different from this one that I've just worked out for you. Right. We are given the following percentage compositions by mass. We have 43.4% of sodium and we have 11.3% of carbon and we have 45.3% of oxygen, and then we are required to calculate the empirical formula for the compound which contains the following elements by these percentage compositions. Step number one, remember, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to divide each and every element by its relative atomic mass. The relative atomic mass for sodium is 23, so we come here, we divide by 23 here. Relative atomic mass for carbon is 12, so we divide here by 12. 
for oxygen is 16, we divide here by 16. So upon division, we're going to get the following numbers. If we divide 43.4% divided by 23, we're going to get 1,89. And then on this one, we are going to get 0 0.942. And for that one, we're going to get 2.83. So after getting these numbers, this is what we're going to do next. We are going to divide by the smallest number. And the smallest number, in as far as uh, this question is concerned, is 0 0.942. So each and every number is going to be divided by 0 0.942 here, 0 0.942 on that side, and again, 0 0.942 here. So, after division, we are going to get 2.01. Remember, calculators are allowed in chemistry or combined science, so don't worry about cracking yourself trying to calculate this without a calculator. Right? We are going to get 2.01 here. We are going to get 1 here. And we are going to get 3 here. So what it means is that the ratios for these elements in this particular compound are going to be as follows. We have sodium, then we round off this number to the nearest whole number, so it's going to be Na2, and then we get a C or 3. So the empirical formula Na2, C or 3, and this is known as sodium carbonate. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for taking this time to watch this video. I urge you to kindly like, subscribe, and share to as many people as possible. This is your host, Chico Squared, and the crew behind the scenes, Farmer Media Productions. Be blessed and stay blessed. I salute you.